To write the name for ZNO, we first need to recognize that we have an ionic compound here. That's a metal and a nonmetal. So this is an ionic compound, and specifically, we have two different elements here. It's called a binary ionic compound. Because of that, we'll use these rules here to write the name for ZNO. First, we'll write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. ZN, that's the metal, so we'll write zinc. And then the name for the nonmetal, also as it appears on the periodic table. O, that's oxygen, lowercase o. And we'll replace the ending with IDE. So the name for ZNO is zinc oxide. So if we look at the periodic table, zinc is kind of special. The transition metals in general, we don't really know what their ionic charge will be. We have to look at what they're bonded to. But zinc right here, it always has a 2 plus ionic charge. For that reason, we don't need to write Roman numeral 2 in here because it's always 2 plus. This is Dr. B with the name for ZNO, zinc oxide. Thanks for watching.